Hey, Captain Ross Robertson with Big Water Fishing. You know, you hopefully have seen our videos, shenanigans, podcasts, whatever it may be. Well, here's what we're doing now, if you haven't seen. A project boat. Why would I buy a 20 year old boat? I have no idea. But we really wanted to have a little tiller boat. They're kind of a cult like following. They didn't make them that long. The Ranger 618. We took this just absolutely destroyed, tore up, hit, whatever you want to call it, smashed up boat. And we rebuilt this thing from top to bottom. Part one, we're going to show you the trolling motor. So we basically didn't have a trolling motor on it, believe it or not, not on the bow. So we wanted to put a Minn Kota Altrex on there. So we're gonna show you some tips and tricks and kind of the simple steps that we did to put a bow mount trolling motor on the project boat. You know, when laying out the trolling motor, there was never a trolling bow mount trolling motor on this boat. There's a lot of things you gotta think about. One of them is I really like the Minn Kota plates. That way I can take that motor on and off, whether it's a cover situation, warranty stuff, fixing, whatever it may be but there's a lot of things you gotta think about when you lay this out. So we wanna make sure that we have enough clearance here that this motor can deploy easily. Also, if I was to put an Altera or a Trove on, so we need to make sure that plate's over the bow. The other really big thing is, is before you, you know, kinda of nail this down, is check with your cover. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this head is inside there. Um, you may even have to modify the cover a little bit. So laying these out makes a really big difference. Think about 10 times before you actually drill it. Other thing I like to do here is we're going to put a plug on, a Minn Kota plug, so we can, again, we can remove this whole thing very easily. But think about the layout. An inch here or there, or even less, makes a really big difference for not only how this is going to take up your deck space, but you know, not bumping a dock, fitting with your cover, all that good stuff. So take a second to figure that out and think about some of the add-ons like the Minn Kota plate as well as the power plug. It makes it a lot easier when you need to do something with the motor. Okay, what we're doing right here is we are laying out where that this is going to go. So when you're putting this bracket on, you pretty much can't install it without having just the base plate. So what I like to do is get it exactly where it needs to go and then put some tape down. So what I'm going to do is next is I'm going to remove the trolling motor completely, but I'm going to have that outline exactly on the angle that I want because we've got this tape down on the deck. And that's going to allow me to lay out the holes on the next step. So once we take the trolling motor off here, it, it, be liberal with the tape so that way you can get the exact angle. Any little change there can make a big difference in the, over the whole five to six foot length. So put the tape down and then just simply mark these holes. We're gonna drill it up and we're gonna attach this plate and then slide on the trolling motor itself. So we're marking the holes here. And the other thing I like to do is because of the way this plate's hanging over, I'm actually gonna make a couple extra holes in here. So we've got four holding it. It's a little bit overkill, but on this back, we've got maybe six, seven, eight inches. So I'm gonna put two more in that groove to make sure this thing's really secured down. It's a good idea before you actually drill the holes on the trolling motor to take the access plate off. And that way you can make sure there's no wires or anything underneath there. Make sure that all those holes you have are actually gonna have a place that can bite underneath. So on the plate, it comes with six holes, but realistically, two of them in most boats aren't gonna be usable. So we've got four main bolts here that we can put through with the pre-drilled holes. So what I did is I already took the liberty of putting one extra one in here, so I don't have all of this extra flapping. So really simply, we're gonna take a center punch like that. We're gonna give ourselves a little starting point, and we're just gonna drill an extra hole in here, and that way we've got this whole back end cinched down too. So tighten her right up. You know, lastly, we're just gonna secure this. So one thing I like to do is, is normally these packages kind of come with some smaller fender washers, about an inch. I like to put another one on in addition to that. These are like inch and a half. You could even use a little small piece of bar stock or something that's just as a backing plate in there. The other big thing is just use a socket and a screwdriver. Uh, don't you know, avoid power tool use on this. You don't wanna gull or cross thread anything or anything tied up or you're gonna have a hot mess. So just hand tighten these. Use some bigger backing on it, you'll appreciate that. And that's all that there is to it to secure the plate itself. So we've got the motor on. Kind of a simple thing that you may not think of until after is, and nothing is perfectly flat in here, and this is an aluminum bracket. So don't over tighten the bracket. And you may have a little wear spots or something, you know, a quick little file just to take off a little high spot and a little bit of lithium grease to get a little, uh, reduce some friction will help this thing get on and off. So assuming you are gonna take it on, because there's little spots there if you over tighten it. 
and nothing's perfectly flat, so it's going to make it a lot easier to get that on and off much easier. So we've got the mount, uh, motor actually mounted now, but now we're, we actually got to power this thing up. So I've already taken the steps to put this Minn Kota little quick release bracket on. Truly amazing. I have them on all my boats, my motor, so that way we can interchange everything, but it's a really good, strong, and firm connection, unlike a lot of the other plugs I've used. This has wired already. Ranger's got the box, little junction box and the wires running back to the battery right here. And they've got a breaker already in the boat. That's kind of a standard operating procedure, even in 2004. But they've got this little plug here that was set up for, I'm assuming somebody gonna power this up or whatever. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna drill a hole saw in there and we're going to flush mount the kind of female portion of this in the back. And then the next step, so we're just going to kind of fast forward and we'll show you, we're not going to show you every little every end of this, but we're going to hook some, some connectors, some battery lugs to this, and that way we can hook this right to the junction box. This is going to be fed through, and that way this motor can be, like I said, taken on and off. Boom. As easy as that. A good, strong connection with the Minkoto. That's what we're going to do.